Hi, welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and new chat. My name is Sarah Wenner and I'm working with the museum for the reinstallation of the ancient Middle East gallery. Today's object is a Nabataean painted fineware beaker from Petra, Jordan. I'm a classical archaeologist and I've been working and excavating in Petra and southern Jordan for a number of years now. And as such, I know that Nabataean ceramic styles changed every couple of decades, not unlike the China of the past few centuries or even the IKEA ceramics of today. Because we have a pretty good idea of when Nabataean ceramics changed, they're a really amazing dating tool for us in the field. But for today's video, I turn to this object as a piece of art rather than as archaeological evidence. Now, I may be biased, but I find it so gorgeous, so distinct from almost anything else we have from the Levant or the classical world. The whole vessel is decorated in this floral motif. Every area that could be painted is. And as a result, this small vessel just overwhelms us with the impression of a vibrant, lush world. And while it was produced in, you know, a desert area where Petra is, the city really had a lot of water and floral decorations around it. There was a number of water displays and they even had a pool and garden complex. So the painted flowers on top of the red fabric of the beaker itself really seemed to reflect the nature and the character of the city in which it was produced. I love to think about why it was so important for the Nabataeans that they communicated this, not just to each other, but to everyone. What impression do you get of this vessel? Do you have emotional connections to ceramics? Perhaps those from your own family or maybe Cincinnati's own Rookwood tradition? Let me know.